For me, the biggest struggle of being an independent artist, I think, is deciding whether to compromise your artistry to make money. It's really hard because you want to stay true to your work, but then it's also a struggle to get um, exposure. Hi, I'm Bill Musa. I am 26 years old and I am a singer-songwriter under Una Room Records and I've been in the industry for five years and I write mostly electronic pop songs. Um, so it came out of nowhere. I was uh, performing at a wedding, my best friend's brother's wedding. I performed my own songs and Yuna's manager was there. Um, so she decided to call me about like half a year or a year later and it was kind of a shock to me because I was studying so I had a totally different picture of what my future was going to be like but she gave me a month to decide whether I wanted to do it so I gave her my SoundCloud, all my songs there, she showed it to Yuna and Yuna said that she wanted me because I write my own songs so I think after a week I called her back and I said, okay, let's do it, because I had nothing to lose. Like, I was still studying, I was still doing music, and I thought I could do two things at one time. Like, why not, right? You know, it was very challenging in the beginning because people were saying, you, you know, you're just like a you now wannabe because your voice is, you know, exactly like hers. At first, I would take that as an insult, but for me now, it's a compliment because you're saying I sound like you now. It's like, great! <laughs> At least I sound like you now, you know, not like a frog. The reason she chose me is number one, because I write my own songs. But I think she felt that our style of writing is like sort of similar. We tell stories. So sometimes it's not, you know, like the money making songs is about having something catchy. But for us, it's like very much about telling relatable stories or like, you know, stories about like relationships or love or whatever happens around us. So I think she wanted a storyteller as well. So she wanted someone who could write songs. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that she still um, believes in me and we're trying to, you know, go into different things now and experiment with different sounds. So very early on in my career, I had a really big opportunity to perform at Laneway Festival with um, Enterprise. Perform at the festival in front of like a huge crowd in Singapore and it was great. So from then on, I started getting addicted to festivals. So I did like Urbanscapes, um, recently did Good Vibes last year and that was really, really good. Because I always doubt myself sometimes, but I think from there, I really knew that this is what I want to be doing. Because I was there standing on the stage and it was great, like people, like a huge crowd of people were singing my songs along with me and that felt great. And yeah, hopefully I can keep on doing this and the ultimate goal is to be able to produce and write songs for other artists in the future and hopefully become like, you know, one of my inspirations, which is Sia, who, you know, writes for other people on the back end and people don't really know, so she's kind of like a silent hero kind of thing. So hopefully I'll be able to do that in the future. For me, the biggest struggle of being an independent artist, I think, is deciding whether to compromise your artistry to make money. It's really hard because you want to stay true to your work, but then it's also a struggle to get um, exposure. But then the difference is, I think it's easier for a lot of artists now, is because we have digital platforms. Virtually anybody can put their music on there, you know, like SoundCloud. So I started off with SoundCloud. And I think people still do, like, bedroom producers still use SoundCloud. And I think that sort of gets you to places because you it's not just like a local audience anymore. You know, sometimes it's like you try to cater to the local audience, but with, you know, platforms like digital platforms like SoundCloud, you can have listeners from like US, Australia, 
For me, when I was starting out, we only had SoundCloud and I suppose iTunes, but now we have Spotify, which like over the past five years since I started has grown really big in our um, region, I suppose. Now you can just produce music and just put it out there and it's so easy. You don't have to go through radio stations, you know, you don't have to worry about, you know, having connections to put your stuff on the radio or getting on TV. Yeah, like YouTube and stuff. It's really good lah for artists now. Have you ever had to juggle between doing well in your music and your day job? Have you ever felt like your song is never finished? Have you ever struggled in finding your right audience? Have you ever dreamt of collaborating with international artists? But not sure how? Have you ever run out of ideas when creating new music? Use is providing solutions for audiences and creators at the same time. Newstream, a project by Use, connecting creators from all over the world. I think what we need to focus on is just staying true to our work and believing in it and staying true to, you know, our genre, the way we write, the way we sing and just not doubt ourselves because now you have the whole world to watch you. It's not just like a small market to watch you or, you know, judge you or whatever um, according to just like one culture. Now we have like so many different people listening so try to put yourself out there because like, there's no more excuses, right? Che, my song, no more excuses. Uh, no more excuses, you can put your stuff out there and people are listening. Alright, so before we end the session, I have 10 easy peasy questions for you. So you just choose whichever you like, okay? Okay. Alright, let's start. Disco or hip hop? Hip hop. 2014 or 2018? 2018. Men or women? Women, of course. Britney Spears or Christina Aguilera? Britney Spears. Lady Gaga or Amy Winehouse? Definitely Amy Winehouse. Okay. Festivals or concerts? I think festivals. Ukulele or guitar? Oh, that's hard. Uh, ukulele. Casual or streetwear? Casual. Futsal or badminton? I would have to go with futsal. Ball or with hair? <laughs> um, I'm gonna say with hair. All right, I'm not gonna ask why though. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Thank you. I'll see you soon then.